All right, so let me go ahead and get started. So I didn't really do much except for like right when I started, I started pulling off some layers, um, but I'll walk you guys through the reasoning on that. I'm um, gonna use my, my belt sander a little bit to take off some thickness for the some of these pieces so that um, the dimensions a little bit better. And I'm going to continue doing that. So we scrolled this last week, maybe? We scrolled the, like this part, the, the globe we did the first week. It's two um, pieces of three eighths glued together or adhesive together, not permanently glued, so that I could remove some layers to help with dimension. Sometimes I'll just grind it on the belt sander if I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. I'm going to be doing some more shaping today. I've been going back and forth between, well, first off, do I have to still cut the eagle. I've been going between like cutting out all of these individual rope pieces, which I didn't want to do last week until I had the piece of paper to put them down on. I just cut all the rope pieces except for these and these. Oops. This is because I want to, I need to do some grinding on the belt sander to get it the right height and also taper it a little bit so it fits towards this a little bit better.
there we go. Obviously, I will do a little bit more rounding with like the orbital and whatnot, but like when I go to smooth it over, ooh. but yeah, to get the edges a little bit more rounded over, but um, overall, I'm happy with it. This is kind of what I was going for. Obviously, it's not an actual rope, but I wanted it to look as realistic as possible. So it's tricky about, actually, I'll just go ahead and do this real quick. What's tricky about some of this dimension is that with this to keep dimension, um, because the ropes are kind of going underneath and then over. So like this needs to be higher than this, but this, this, these parts seem to be lower than this. And once they're all smoothed over, I'll probably glue them together before painting since I'm not going to be doing any like crazy individual shading of these separate pieces like I do with florals. So I'm kind of just working sporadically here, but that's okay. Obviously, still pretty rough, but I'm glad that I decided to cut them separately. I can't wait to get them a little bit better. So, and same thing here. Basically, all the 
most of the ropes except for this one kind of which i still need to have this one be a little bit taller than the anchor all of them kind of go up and down so it kind of makes it kind of exciting but i think i'm going to call it a night if you guys like i said have any questions feel free to message me on my instagram i love to chat with you guys but i will hopefully see you guys next saturday